this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and today I'm going to actually be doing a Top 5 Wednesday. So there is a Goodreads group down below that I will link that has all the Top 5 Wednesday topics, and this topic is also um, an SFF Babbles topic. And I will link the information for the FSF Babbles Award down below as well. Now this topic is Science Fiction Fantasy Friendships. Now this is one of my favorite things to happen in fantasy and science fiction. I just, I almost ship it more than like the actual romantic ship. I just love when it's a good friendship, when it's really tight knit and awesome. I don't have five. I have seven. Yeah, I have seven I'm going to talk about and oh well. So one of the first I want to talk about is is Tyler Grady and Zane Garrett's relationship in the Cut and Run series. They are both FBI agents, and even though it does become a romantic relationship in the beginning, well, first, in the beginning, it's they hate each other. They are, believe they are antithesis of each other, so Tyler is very much kind of does what he wants, figures things out as he goes, and Zane is very strict and driven by protocol and they both have reasons for that and that is explained later um but I love how even though they don't like each other's personalities they come to rely on each other real quick and they they do figure out that they are people each other is someone that they can trust and rely on and use to like go to in time of need I just love I I love the like enemies to lovers or enemies to friends. It's one of my favorite kind of character arcs, so I absolutely love their friendship. Another one I want to bring up is the Six of Crows. This is more, um, this is like one of, it's everyone, it's like a misfit family one where everyone ends up becoming friends and family. I do have to say, I think as of right now, because I'm not all that far into Crooked Kingdom, the second one in this duology, um, so I'm not that too, too far into it, but so far my two favorite relation friendships are Kaz and Inej, and Inej and Nina, especially towards the end. I don't know, um, since I'm kind of started, that relationship, Nina and Inej, has a lot more prominence in the second book so far, and I am here for it. I love it. They're both two badass strong women who get each other through some really tough times, but overall I always do love that cast of characters where they're all like misfit families as well so this is definitely one that has some of my favorite friendships in it so another one of my favorite friendships is from the poison study which apparently I don't own anymore I don't know when I got rid of it but I cannot find it on my bookshelves um but anyway that is Yelena Ari and Janko's friendship Ari and Janko are um friends before Yelena comes into the picture but because it's told from Yelena's perspective um, but she is kind of, and I just love the circumstances, Yelena's kind of an outcast. She's in this really interesting position. She was in jail and going to be sentenced to death, and then she can become the next poison taster for, like, the commander, which is the kind of king in this scenario. And, um, everyone, of course, distrusts her, and, um, she ends up running into Ari and Janko, Ari and Janko, and they agree to train her. And I just love the banter between them. I absolutely love how tight they are and how much they care for each other. Um, at one point in the story, Ari and Janko give Yelena a knife um, that basically says that they'll follow her anywhere or whatever, like friendship till death or whatever. And I just, oh, it's probably one of my favorite friendships. The next one I want to talk about is... Um, in the Night Runner series, so as well as Alec and Sirigal, and I just love their relationship with with one of the princesses in this world, Kali. They, I don't know, they're just like there for each other through thick and thin. They're willing to do stuff for each other. They kind of follow each other's they follow each other's schemes without really needing to be told the end game, and they're just trusting each other so much. And I absolutely love their relationship. One of my top favorite relationships is um, Daniel and Saville from 
the last Herald Mage series. This is the second book because for some reason I, I'm like losing all my books. I'm pretty sure there's a leprechaun somewhere running around stealing the first book of all my series. Because um, I'm missing the first book of this one. And Vaniel, I just, I love the relationship. Vaniel comes in the first book to Seville under really dire circumstances. And Vaniel hates Seville basically for what has tr transpired before. And um, from there they come, become men mentor and mentee. And then eventually become friends. Because it does follow Vaniel's kind of like life as a herald mage. And especially in this book and in the later book, they are very close and they just, they're so good to each other and they're just there through so many things and they're willing to do so much for each other and I absolutely love it. Plus the series is awesome, although trigger warnings for suicide and su suicidal thoughts, attempted suicide, um, and some bigotry, some homophobia. But it's so good. Now, for anyone who has watched probably anything on my channel, at least in the beginning, or has known me for a long time, will not be surprised. My my top two favorite SS, S, science fiction and fantasy friendships, um, because they are from my favorite author, Tamora Pierce. The first one being from the Trickster's Queen. This is a duology. Um, the first one is Trickster's Choice. This is Trickster's Queen. I chose this one just because it is way more prevalent. Like, it's really thrown out in the open. And that is between Ollie and Dove, and they just get each other so well. And even though Dove is going to be, even though Dove is kind of royalty and Ali's kind of like her servant slash helper slash spy master, they are so close and they just get each other. And half the time they don't even have to talk. Like there's like started sentences and they'll just like finish each other or be like what is and they'll just answer and it's just so good and sadly to say this is like my only straight female female friendship on this list which I was really surprised by this is one of the better one of my favorite friendships ever now my favorite friendship of all time is also Tamora Pierce it is from the protector of the small series it is a quartet that follows Kelladry Kelladry has decided that she is going to become the first female knight. There has been a decree that girls can now join the army or become knights, go for their knighthood, and Kelladry decides that she wants to do that. Of course, with much prejudice because females are not strong enough, they're not blah 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 blah. And very soon in the book, she gets, um, Neil takes her under his wing, and it is just a glorious relationship. It's so good they're so snarky to each other Kel is kind of more level-headed Neil is very much more sharp-witted and willing to kind of he doesn't really hold his tongue very well and they just balance each other so well and get each other through so many things and they rely on each other so much and yeah probably as to date my favorite ever friendship. Now please let me know some of your favorite science fiction fantasy friendships down below. I'm pretty sure, I mean I had a bunch more I could talk about but these are just like my top seven and I would love to know some of yours. Like I said it's one of my favorite, I don't even know what to call it because it's not like a trope or anything but like some of my favorite things that happen in stories is friendships within science fiction and fantasy specifically fantasy but if you guys have some favorites please link them or please let me know in the comments down below or just stop in to say hi once again i will have the goodreads group and the sff babbles also listed down below and until the next video ta-ta for now